having every you know 90 percent of of young children being told certain certain things about the world around them that are incredibly harmful to the way that they interact with other people the way that they understand the world the way that they understand history things where you know we're talking about like real history but we we ignore really important things like the idea that that uh, you know liberal philo political philosophy you know like 18th century liberal political philosophy is the basis for ending slavery which is a, an institution that existed for uh, pretty much the entirety of human history up until uh you know 150 to 200 years ago well, it still exists. And, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. Like, and only ended in the places that adopted that philosophy to any degree. I mean, it's it still absolutely exists in in parts of the world where that philosophy hasn't been adopted at all, or has been adopted considerably less. Um, you know, due process, which we were talking about in the main episode. I mean, these these are things that are entirely built on the ideas that there are inalienable rights of individuals. Um. Like, if you don't believe that, then, then like, why not let the state just imprison somebody because they don't like them or because whatever? Like, what's, what's to stop you from doing any of that? Like, intellectually, what's the argument that you make if you make the, the argument that, that the only thing that really matters is power? Then anybody who has all the power can do whatever they want. So it's great that you think you're going to be the one on top of that, you know, that, that horrifying heap of human bodies and human misery, but like, you're probably not. Somebody else will be. And if you are today, somebody else will be tomorrow. The thing that prevents that is, is better ideas, you know, and having the idea that like, it actually individuals matter, you know, and um, yeah, that's the stuff that I worry about probably the most. In yeah. Terms of and that, 